This week we complete the reading of the book of Shemot with Parshat Pekudai. And at the end of every book of the Torah, when it's read in public, we say the words chazak, chazak, benet chazak, that we should be strengthened, we should be strong, we should be encouraged. And the question is, why do we say this here at the end? I can understand at the beginning of a project, as the sages tell us, call hatchalot kashot, all beginnings are difficult. You begin a new year of school, you begin a new job, you begin a new project. It's challenging. There's change involved. But when you end something, that's a time to rejoice. Why do you need to be encouraged? Why do we need to say to the community, chazak, chazak, v'net chazak, come on everybody, be strong. And I think the explanation is as follows. Very often when a person reaches the end of something, there's a sense of accomplishment. Wow, look at what I've done. I've just finished the entire book of Shemot. I've studied it, I've understood it, I've learned all of the Rashis. I feel jolly good about myself. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. And of course we should do that. We should acknowledge the fact that we have accomplished something and we have finished something. It's very common in the Jewish world that when you've finished a certain amount of learning that's taken a long time, that you have a seal, you have a celebration, you gather friends together, you have a meal, and you celebrate the fact that, wow, look, I finished a book of the Talmud or a book of the Tanakh, whatever it may be. But at the same time, we always say a prayer at such an occasion that God will allow us to begin a new book of the Talmud, a new book of the Tanakh, and that we should be able to complete it. Because unfortunately what happens is that people begin to rest on their laurels. Look at what I've achieved. And when you, when you rest on your laurels, that's when you stop growing. We acknowledge the fact, yes, we have finished the book of the Torah, but let's start the next one. Let's go to the next chapter. Let's see what we can achieve. Let's not just sit back and relax and take it easy. There's a famous statement of our sages that whenever the Torah says the word Vayeshev, or Vayeshvu, that they dwelt, they sit, they came to rest, that there's always some trouble coming. So for example, it tells us, Vayeshev Yaakov, Yaakov took it easy. He had a difficult life, things had been hard, and he sat down and he wanted to take it easy. And soon after that, his son Yosef disappeared. As if Hashem was saying to him, Yaakov, there's no time to rest in this world. You finished, and I acknowledge the fact that you've accomplished a lot, but there's still more to do. You can't rest on your laurels. So let's take this opportunity as we finish the book of Shemot, yes, to pat ourselves on the back and to say, look at what we've accomplished, but to make a commitment that we're going to do for, go forward, that we're going to grow even more. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.